Hey gang, Private Jack here. Merry Christmas. Was walking through the Fuse discussion group and I came across this particular uh, discussion. It was on uh, Blender to uh, Fuse to Blender pipeline, the OBJ files, exports, and missing materials. Materials aren't actually missing. What's happening is it appears that the models are coming in and they're completely specular. They're not uh, actually displaying their textures properly don't know if this is a fuse problem or if it's a blender problem I've already talked to some of the uh, fuse developers and uh, a couple of weeks ago and they're kinda of looking into it but anyway make a long story short I'll give you a quick demonstration of what the problem is and what the possible fix is for now so I've created a drill sergeant here uh, kind of looks like me after 25 years in the military and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export him as an OBJ file. I'm going to leave the uh, defaults as is and just export it. I'm going to save this to my desktop in a test folder. So I'm exporting the OBJ file. minimize that and I'm going to open up a brand new install of Blender 2.72 Bravo. I wanted to find out if the newest build might have fixed some of the problems here because this has been going on for a while. So I'm going to load up Blender 2.72 Bravo, get rid of the splash green, kill the cube, and I'm going to import that OBJ file. Now I've got all as many plugins plugged into this thing as I possibly can and plus a few extras and let's see go to my desktop go into that test folder and open up the test OBJ. So here's our little drill sergeant. Put that cursor back in the center where it belongs and I'm going to put it into ortho view and on top of that I'm going to select the objects and smooth them out. So here he is. Now if I go and I open up the uh, menu here and I turn on my shading and turn on the textured solid what's going to happen is this model is going to look like it is completely textured properly. However, if I go in and I do a render, and before I do that I'm going to add a, a lamp. I'm going to make it a sun. Pull that right up above his head. And I'm going to ramp up the intensity of that lamp. just so that we can see that it's actually shining on the model. And then I'm going to do a render of this model. And I think I'm going to have to reset my camera. I, I know I'm going to have to reset my camera. <laughs> okay, turn the clipping down, turn the clipping way up. Okay, seven. Where's my camera? Pull the camera back some. Zero. Turn the clipping up again. I want to be able to get them all in there. There we go, got him. So I'm going to render. And it doesn't matter how many lights I throw at this guy, he's black. So I say, why is that? And what I do is I select one of the objects of the, f of the model and I go into the materials. And looking at the material, what I'm seeing on the preview screen is that it's a black specular color. And you're going to say, well, maybe you haven't got the colors loaded properly. 
so or the textures loaded properly so I go into the textures panel and here are my textures this is the diffuse and it is marked as the color the specular is marked as specular its intensity and the bump is marked as a normal and it's all proper so there's something going on here like I say we don't know if it's blender or if it is fuse that's doing this so there is a quick workaround and that workaround is to actually delete the texture or the, the material rather and create a new one so here I'm going to call this top and you're going to say well it was already called top but my top is all lowercase and the one that came in from fuse is mixed case so I'm actually creating a brand new texture here and now I'm going to go into the textures and I'm going to load up the textures for the top and I believe that is bump 2 no yeah bump 2 so I'm gonna load up the uh, diffuse first KD2 I'm going to load up the specular second KS2 and I'm going to load up the bump third bump 2 and what I have to do is now I have to come down to the influences and actually fix these up. I've got to turn off the color for the bump and make it a normal map. Come back up here, select the secular, uh, the uh, specular. Come down here, turn off the color and make it an intensity. And if I come into the model now and I do a render, I can see that it is actually starting to show color now. The rest is still black simply due to the fact that if I go back over here into the materials on I hit the body group and I pick up the body group material there it is specular have no idea why or black or whatever it is that's loading here I have no idea so what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah, now you say well why don't you refresh the texture well I come in here I can see that the texture is correct I hit refresh it reloaded the texture I can delete the ping or I can delete it all together I have to load up okay KS2 okay come back over here and it's still specular I don't know what this problem is so the workaround delete the texture or the material add a new material rename it completely come back into the textures tab and we know that uh, the that Blender brought in the materials. Come down here and pick up the diffuse, the specular, and the bump. Yep. Correct the influences. Come on, get up there. back over look at the material the material is now correctly uh, uh, colored hit F12 do a render and I can see that I am now starting to pick up color on that next object so that is your quick fix uh, to get your colors onto your model so that they render properly in blender one last time we'll do the hat hat I deleted the uh, texture the original texture created the new hat texture come into the textures panel and that's four yeah 
So there's my diffuse. My specular will be KS4. I'm glad that fuse does it that way. Makes things so much easier. The bump, come down here, fix the influences. So the bump, turn off the color, turn on the normal. Pick up the specular, turn off the color. Turn on the intensity. And F12. This hat is now colored. And like I say, don't worry about my shine and whatnot else. I haven't really set the model up. I'm just trying to get the textures onto the model. So with that, that is your quick fix for being able to actually render your Fuse OBJ model in Blender. Hopefully this answers a few of the questions out there. And with that, I say Private Jack, out, and Merry Christmas!